In this section, we will deal with the conformational analysis of some simple organic molecules beginning with ethane CH3 CH3. Conformations or spatial arrangements of atoms that are generated due to rotation around the CC sigma bond in alkanes and cycloalkanes. Different conformations of the same molecule are called conformers. In ethane, the rotation around the CC bond will result in different spatial arrangements of the methyl groups with respect to each other. Among all possible conformers, the most stable staggered conformer torsion angle 60 degrees and the least stable eclipsed conformer torsion angle 0 degrees are given below in their sawhorse and Newman projections. Note that torsion angle is the angle between the H2CC and the H1CC planes. The staggered and eclipse conformers are separated by a very small energy of 3.9 kilocalories per mole. Rapid interconversions occur between them and one would not be able to isolate the individual conformers and characterize them. At any one time, nearly 100% of the molecules would exist in the staggered conformation. Conformational analysis of ethane due to rotation around C1, C2. The potential energy diagram due to rotation around the CC bond in ethane is instructive. The staggered conformer A with torsional angle 60 degrees is the most stable conformer. The clockwise rotation of the front CH3 with respect to the back CH3 will result in various intermediary conformers with decreasing torsional angle until the totally eclipsed least stable conformer B with torsional angle 0 degrees is formed. Two more successive rotations by 60 degrees each will result in the staggered conformer C and to the eclipsed conformer D. The eclipsed conformer B suffers from torsional strain also known as dihedral angle strain due to repulsions between the bonded CH electrons of the front methyl with the CH electrons of the back methyl making it more unstable compared to the staggered conformer A. Conformations of butane due to rotation around the C2-C3 bond. Rotation around the C2-C3 bond in butane would result in four distinct conformers. 1. Anti- Two eclipsed CH3 and H, CH3 and H eclipsed. Three Gauche and four eclipsed CH3 and CH3 eclipsed. The anti is the most stable conformer. A 60 degree rotation leads to the higher energy eclipsed conformer, which has 1. Torsional strain and 2. Steric or Van der Waals strain due to the direct interaction between the CH3 and H and the CH3 and H. A further 60 degree rotation leads to a lower energy Gauche conformer which has only steric strain due to direct interaction between this methyl group and this methyl group here. A further 60 degree rotation leads to the highest energy, most unstable 
eclipsed conformer which has one torsional strain and two steric strain due to direct interaction between this CH3 and this CH3. The Van der Waals radius and steric strain. The Van der Waals radius defines the volume of an atom around the nucleus that corresponds to an energy minimum distance with respect to a neighboring atom. This is equal to the sum of their Van der Waals radius. The minimum distance between two hydrogen atoms should be equal to or greater than the sum of their Van der Waals radii which is 240 picometers. In the Gauss conformer of butane, the hydrogen of one CH3 group with respect to the hydrogen of the second CH3 group lies within 210 picometers of each other. This distance is less than the sum of their Van der Waals radii which should be equal to 240 picometers and results in repulsions between them. This strain is called Van der Waals strain or steric strain or Gauss interaction. Conformational analysis of cycloalkanes, relative strain and stabilities. Among cycloalkanes, cyclopropane is the least stable and cyclohexane the most stable. This is evident from the heat of combustion data as measured for per CH2 group. The more stable a molecule is, the less heat it will release on combustion. Relative stabilities reflects relative strain. Cyclohexane is the most stable with a delta H per CH2 of 147 kilocalories per mole. Cyclopropane is the least stable with a delta H per CH2 group of 156.2 kilocalories per mole. Cyclopropane, cyclobutane and cyclopentane suffer from various degrees of tetrahedral bond angle strain due to the compression of the tetrahedral bond angle from the ideal angle of 109.5 degrees. In addition, cyclopropane, cyclobutane and cyclopentane suffer from various degrees of torsional or eclipsing strain. As we will see later, Cyclohexane does not suffer from any strain when it adopts a strain-free conformer called chair conformer. Conformational analysis of cyclopropane. In cyclopropane, all the three carbons lie in the same plane and hence rotation around the CC bond is not possible. There is a great degree of tetrahedral bond angle strain due to its compression to 60 degrees. In addition, there is eclipsing strain since all the hydrogens are eclipsed with respect to each other. In order to relieve the bond angle strain, cyclopropane forms bent bonds between the sp3 carbons. In a normal sigma bond, the orbitals involved overlap in a collinear manner. In cyclopropane, the sp3 orbitals overlap at an angle resulting in inadequate and weak overlap. Due to this, 
the CC bond length in cyclopropane is smaller and weak compared to cyclohexane. Cyclopropane is very reactive due to this. Conformational analysis of cyclobutane and cyclopentane. Cyclobutane adapts a puckered or folded conformation due to slight rotation between the CC bonds. This reduces the eclipsing strain a little bit compared to cyclopropane. The tetrahedral bond angle is 90 degrees and hence experiences tetrahedral bond angle strain also. The tetrahedral bond angle strain in cyclopentane is relatively small since the tetrahedral bond angle of 108 degrees is nearly equal to the ideal tetrahedral bond angle of 109.5 degrees. It adapts an envelope conformation in which four of the carbons are nearly in one plane and the fifth outer plane. This results in considerable reduction in eclipsing strain since most hydrogens are nearly staggered with respect to their adjacent hydrogens.